Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to my channel, my dear friends. My name is Avilash and I'm your trader next door. In this video, I'll be analyzing the chart of USD CHF, US dollar, Swiss franc. So if you're watching my videos for the first time, then please subscribe to my channel for regular market analysis and do check out the Forex analysis playlist on my YouTube channel for the analysis of other pairs like Euro USD, GBP USD, Gold USD, USD JPY and many more. So let's get started. So this is the photo chart of USD CHF in front of us right now. If you look at the chart here, then you can clearly see that market is in downtrend. Okay, so as we all know, trading on a trending market is easier in comparison to sideways market or a choppy market. But my dear friends, though the chart is in downtrend, but there are certain complications that you need to understand. So please watch the video carefully. So first of all, yes. The trend of the market, the trend of the market, yes, seriously, it is towards the downside. And we can see that this trend line was or still acting as a dynamic resistance for the market. You can see whenever market was trying to go up, it was facing resistance from this trend line. You can see that multiple times this trend line has provided resistance to the market. But we know it very well that in market if you find market testing a level too many times the level loses its strength in fact i have been talking about this theory for months and months and months okay and yes this is uh, in reality also because whenever you'll find market testing a, a level too many times at one point of time market will break the support and at one point of the market will break the resistance and here also you can see that market has been testing this level too many times so therefore this level is slowly losing its strength and there is a possibility of market breaking the resistance again therefore i will not recommend you to short the market anymore at this trend line okay and if i zoom out the chart if i zoom out the chart you can see that we also have a support at this particular level Previously, when market was falling, there was a fall in the market. Yes, we had plenty of opportunities to short USD CHF whenever market was reversing from the trend line. But right now, you can see that market has also reached a very important support zone of 0 0.9100. This is the whole support zone for the market. Okay, and if I zoom out, sorry, zoom in now, you can see that this is a very narrow range if you short the market here then definitely at this level market will try to bounce again so this is not an ideal position okay so this support is strong okay listen to me carefully so this support is a strong support this resistance okay this resistance was a very strong resistance but as market has been testing this level too many times so obviously the trend line is slowly losing its strength therefore there is a good possibility of market bouncing from this level and on monday if you find usd chf coming down and bouncing from this support level you can go for buy yes just make sure that market bounces okay because confirmation is extremely important because no support resistance in the market is permanent always keep in mind no support and resistance level in the market is permanent as a result confirmation is extremely important confirmation will be in the form of a hammer pattern if you find market uh, forming a bullish engulfing pattern then you'll get the confirmation that yes this particular support level is still valid and you can click on the buy button so if market comes down to the support level of 0 0.9100 or 0 0.9080 level and market bounces definitely you can go for buy and i think if market bounces from here then market should break this trend line as well because the trend line is slowly losing its strength on the other hand okay on the other hand if if you find market uh, going up up and up okay then i this level you can see 0 0.9180 this black line is the next resistance for the market so in case market goes up from here then your next trading opportunity or the best trading opportunity to short the market will be 
at 0 0.9180 because see this is a resistance level from the weekly chart and as we all know the support and resistance level from the weekly chart are quite stronger okay so in case market goes up from here then keep your eyes on the weekly resistance of 0 0.9180 so if it reverses from 0 0.9180 you can take a sell position here so this is a good level uh, but if I take you to the 15 minutes chart, okay. if I take you to the 15 minutes chart, then you can see that yes, this black line is very strong, but we also have a medium support, okay, medium, sorry, medium resistance at 0 0.9170 level as well. So if market goes up, so before reaching the resistance of 0 0.9180, there is a good possibility of market reversing from the 0 0.9170 level as well. So this whole level, okay, this whole level is your resistance zone, okay. This whole level is your resistance zone. And whenever you will find market reversing from this resistance zone, just short the market. Clear? If you have failed to understand, then please watch the video again. Because as I said, the chart looks simple, but things are a little bit complicated here. Okay, let me clarify again. If market goes up and reverses from this particular level, you can short the market because this is a resistance from the weekly chart as well as on a lower time frame also we have seen market reversing okay so this is a strong resistance zone for the usd chf and the next thing is as usd chf has been um testing this trend line too many times the trend line is slowly losing its strength therefore if market bounces from the level of 0 0.9100 level we can go for buy because this level is also a very strong support zone we have seen by zooming out the chart okay but on the other hand in case you see heavy selling or market breaking the support zone and going below then do not short the market right away because that can be a false breakout as well so if you find market breaking the support zone and going down at least wait for four to five hours six hours and just see and observe the price if you see that after four to six hours selling pressure is still present in the market then you'll get the confirmation that yes there is a fresh selling on market fresh batch of sellers have joined the market and then you can take a sell position below this level as well so these are the trading opportunities on the chart of usd chf that i see if you think that um, um, my analysis is wrong or there are some other aspects to the market then please write down in the comment section i would love to learn from you okay and my dear friends recently i have launched a pro trader program where i share the best trading opportunities in the market plus live signals okay so if you are interested in knowing about the pro trader program go to my website avilashajarika.com here you will find all the information okay so bye bye take care see you on monday